I'm here at Colonial Life Arena, where the Gamecocks just defeated the Gators, 82 to 76. Let's take a look at how that happened. It was all right early for the Gamecocks as the Fort Mill native scored eight points in the first seven minutes, giving the Gamecocks their largest lead of the day early in the first half. But Florida capped a 14-0 run with an and one from Tyree Samuel to take control of the game. That's when freshman Colin Murray Boyles answered with a dunk inside. Walter Clayton Jr.'s hot shooting was enough, however, to give the Gators a six-point halftime lead. Right, and Clayton Jr. traded shots from behind the arc in the second half as Florida maintained their multi-possession lead. Zion Pullen then found Micah Hanlogton on the oop at the expense of Murray Boyle, stretching the lead to double digits. But the freshman forward bounced back, as did the Gamecocks. Michi Johnson's drive in the lane gave South Carolina their first lead since 324 in the first half. But Walter Clayton Jr. seemingly couldn't miss, hitting another three to tie the game back up. While Talon Cooper's attempt found Clayton Jr.'s hand, Johnson's putback found the bottom of the net and sent Colonial Life into a frenzy. The Gator offense bit back as Riley Cooper and Walter Clayton Jr., who led Florida with 20 points, again connecting on triples to even the game back up and setting up a wild finish. That's when Michi Johnson, in an almost identical spot to the shot he hit against Kentucky earlier this year, hit the dagger. Down four late, Clayton Jr. tried to cut the deficit but was met by Colin Murray Boyles. Zachary Davis's subsequent free throws effectively put the Gators on ice. For SGTV Sports, I'm George Bagwell.